Talky talky talky. How is it in comparison to other stuff? Should be good to go. Where's my phone? Because I'm not gonna be able to check Discord. Otherwise, where the fruit did it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Hello. Wait a minute. From um, Twitch chat, so I'll be able to catch it. Waiting for people to show up to the stream. And hello! Welcome to the stream, Rex. I'm sorry that this didn't work out, but we are going to get it done somehow in some way. I guess this would be a good time to just give me a refresher as to what sort of bonus content I want to show for this Let's Play. So uh, first off, good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to Coda Princess. In the last episode we beat the game, in this episode we're uh, back and doing stuff. What a professional setup that I have. But yeah, we were going to go ahead and show off a uh, multiplayer with uh, Rex Dolar, who is one of the ultimate Coda Princess players in the universe. And I just checked recently, you beat Catfight on the leaderboards. I don't know how uh, recent that is, but that was really cool. Cat's number seven right now. You must be slacking off now, not really. But um, only first place gets the title of Goddess, and then other people are uh, two through 10 are Lords, and then 11 is a soldier, which is really, really cool. And I got like just two friends on here, but yeah, that was a while ago that happened. Okay, yeah, that's super cool. Um, we are going to get this up and running at some point, so don't worry about it. I don't know when. Uh, you were at number one for a while. That's awesome. Maybe I could become number one in the stream. No, that's not going to happen. I'm obsessed with Code of Princess, but I know nothing about competitive play, so I'm probably not going to get there. But what we want to do is. So I checked the bonus quest for single player, and then the bonus quest for multiplayer are the same? From what I looked at, or are there different bonus quests in a different location that I should know about? Be kind. <laughs> I haven't done any of these. I have one on that is locked still, that's a bit weird. Two that are locked. Three, okay. And then with multiplayer, with multiplayer it is... There are different bonus quests under internet play, okay. Uh, we'll try and save these for later then. Internet play, I'd rather just do internet matches with you right now because I would really like it if you were... Um, actually here with us when uh, we actually did all this. So, what do we do to just battle each other, is that... Versus ranked player versus free play. P against your highest ranking. Versus against your opponents. Use your custom characters against your opponents. Uh, which one lets me fight against friends? Uh, free play, you say? Okay. And I did level up all the characters level 99, but we don't get... Well, except these guys, I guess. Um, but we are going to... Uh, go with Allegro, because he's the only character I know. 
I'm like, no, not really. I know, I know the other the character. What the heck am I saying? And then equipment doesn't matter, as you said, so... I guess we're just gonna go for it. Uh, join a lobby, or do you want to create the lobby? <laughs> could have the volume up just 1% inch, so I could hear them sweet Code of Princess jams. Then again, we could have just gone into, like, the free-range realm, because we're probably the only ones online playing this game. Join lobby. Okay, join a lobby. Up search with filters. Opponents rank. Anyone player count? Opponent filter. Friend. We'll try with that. Search with filters. We got Rick Stoller! Heliodor Castle. Gates to play. This is so cool! I've never done this before. Oh my god. So excited. It could be up to four players. Was it like that in the 3DS version, or...? Um... I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I'm ready. All players are ready. The game is starting. It was four player. Four player battle in the 3DS version. That's really cool. Ready? Okay. Fight. So let's see. Let me get familiar with the buttons again. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we're good to go. Oh, jeez. So my memories of Alchemia is horrible. I have like a bunch of failed attempts against her, so we'll see how this goes. Ooh, it's nice to know that not uh, characters besides just the main ones that you play as are viable for competitive play. So I know like the majority of the characters that you get unlocked are just joke characters because all the enemies and like the townsfolk and all that jazz. Yeah, I probably should have done this bonus stuff a whole lot sooner because I then would actually know how to play the game. That would be nice if I actually remembered anything from a year ago. Uh, let's not do that. Oh jeez. Oh, my HP is like dangerously low, I just realized. How do I- yeah, there you go. Oh no. And I'm dead. Cool. You lose. You lose. I never heard that. S Wait a minute. They had an English sound effect for you lose and ready fight, but they couldn't get the English voice cast. I call shenanigans. So let's see. Do I join a lobby again? Search with filters. No games found. I guess you have to like set it up. You have to set up a lobby every single time. Per battle? That's not cool. <laughs> Let me just check if anyone is playing online right now. Do Allegro. Confirm. You do? Actually, that's really crummy. If no one's playing online, then we could just, like, join. Well, you have to make the lobby, though, so it's not just like, it's not like Smash Bros. where you just go into it. Any. Let's see. Is anyone playing this game online? No one's playing the game online! That's so amazing! It's literally just us! Oh my god, I'm sorry, Coda Princess. You deserve so much better. It's super tedious. Uh, let me make a lobby and see how like how long it takes. With the loading screens every time, confirm. Uh, I'll create the lobby. Two player match. Alright, oh god, I have to choose all this stuff. Uh I'll do King of Deluxia. Skill level preferred characters, anyone set lobby message. Open filter open all create room. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> See if we can get one more person in here. Gee, I wonder who the one more person is. Also, what's that supposed to be on the side? It's like a it looks like chic. <laughs> Like the little player head icon, is that like... Looks like a mummy head, but I don't know. A soldier, okay. Oh, because our rank is soldier! Wait, no, you're not soldier though, you're lord. Ready? Fight. It's so, such an intense- READY! 
Okay, so Tsukikage is according to Catfight number one on the tier list, so now we get to see someone who actually knows how to play the game use this character to their full potential. Oi! Oh jeez, come on. Oi! I keep trying to grab like this is Smash. I was playing Smash before this and like it did not help. It's definitely not helping right now. Whoa! That did a lot of damage! Oh no. Okay, let's heal up, please. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> wow. That is something. That is really, really something. You never liked Tsukikage much? I'm not crazy with him. I liked Master T a lot when I was discovering to play him uh, through the LP, and then uh, also Marco Neko, it's just that he's not all that powerful. Strong, but a bit hard to use, yeah. Okay. Should probably switch to somewhere else. But then I would have to create a stinking menu again. It makes me recreate the lobby, but this doesn't let me switch my character unless I. Uh, delete the lobby. Try this again. I'll go with Zozo because it's my other main, I guess. My main mage. Anytime you want to load game, it's fine. Oh, this is a sad day. Christmas is cancelled. <laughs> oh no, really? Are you just gonna be loading forever? Oh no, come on, Coda Princess. Come on, it's not like anyone else is on is online right now. Come on. Oh boy, really? Come on. I could go back in here. It would probably be quicker to just close, turn the game off and turn it back on again. Wow. That is a sad, sad m miss. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Sorry for the mic. Okay, internet, let's go. Versus free play Zozo. And then, did you create a room where we might j make it in again? You have a lobby of? Okay. Oh, it's Zozo. At first I get excited because I think it's new artwork that I haven't seen before, but it's literally just, like, still images from the opening. Uh, search with filters, I guess. Be anyone. The only one! The Forest of Ren. Go here. Uh, Sister Helga, okay. Wait, what? Host has initiated the game? Okay. Helga, I do not know how to use at all. I love how this background looks, my god. Oh jeez. Try this, oh jeez. What the fruit?! What was that all about?! How do I do the thing? Oh no! I was sort of close that time. That was cool. Did that freak out thing happen on your end? Like, where she just swung across the screen?
the bubble glitch was in the original too. That's cool. Let's try... Okay, it's time I stop messing around and use my ultimate character. Hmm... <laughs> I like how her pose, her battle pose is just her looking forward. <laughs> Old woman. Let's go. Why is she here? Can we, can we battle in the final boss room? I just want to see the old lady there. Oh, she's so slow. Oh my god. Run, lady, run! Oh no! Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, jeez. Run, old woman! Oh, look at that dodge! Look at that pro strat! Oh, she's making it. Yeah, you don't even have a full running animation, Sister Helga. How do you like that? Oh, look at that! This could be just a fun game, just a battle of survival. <laughs> Just old woman trying to survive. <laughs> oh, well, that makes it a bit more difficult to survive when you have lock on. And then I'm dead. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, this map isn't... That map was not in the game, I just realized. They have exclusive boards for multiplayer? That was... Cool, I just comprehended, I was like, that's a new thing I haven't seen before. <laughs> His battle was just walking away. Elda's Tavern, it's where my favorite cutscene in the game is. Solange versus old man, okay. I think we should have an old man versus old woman fight at the end after this. So extreme. Is that a custom? Yeah, that is a custom skin for Solange. He just yells, he's like, hey, darn kids, get off my lawn! You. You just one hit! Oh my god, that's amazing! That's so good! Oh my god, this is the best game ever. That trick still works. Alright, now we need to have an old man versus old woman fight. Who do you want to be? Or it could be girl and orphan fight. You'll have more and then we can actually chat together on stream. Yeah, if we can't get the chat thing to work- oh wait. The- I- no, I think I knew that. That even all the minor characters had their own alternate skins and all that jazz. But if we can't get the stream stuff to work, I might make like a- just a regular video. Like talking about competitive stuff and I'll ask if you want to just like send me a recording of you talking about competitive play with certain characters. And then that could be our collaborative thing if we can't get the stream stuff to work. I really want the stream stuff to work though. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'll be fluorescent old woman, I guess.
Oh, you're already in here. Okay, I thought you were- I was waiting- never mind. You're waiting on me this whole time. Housewife versus old woman. Okay. Battle of the Ages. Let's go. I'm gonna fight just like I was taught by Solange Blanche Blue Deluxe. Oh, well, you have the ability to run, like, sort of a run a brisk jog. Oh, jeez. I guess I also have the burst, but still, just caught me off guard. <laughs> this is... I just like the idea of this being someone's introduction to Code of Princess, being like, what the fruit is this game supposed to be? And Housewife is a lot more powerful than I thought she was going to be. Did I just... I threw you an herb that healed you. Okay. Sure. Is that her only at? Okay, that's her only attack. Sure. I'd love to see someone, like, get to the top of the leaderboards with, like, one of the joke characters. You'd think you might be able to because no one plays the game, so no one updates their status on it. Okay. Let's have one more serious match, and then we're gonna try out uh, single-player stuff. We'll see how quickly I can get through the single-player quests. Uh, I'll play as... Uh... Well, if it's a serious match, I have to. What's what are my what are my favorite skins in all these? I got one, two, three, four. I like number two right here the best. Allie, I don't like a lot of. I really don't like any of her skins. Uh, I guess that one. So, so I love all of Zozo's skins. I remember. Oh, I love that one. Either this one or that one. I'm not sure. Oh, they're so cool. An Allegro. Blue, I guess. His aren't super crazy awesome. Sister Helga, she only has two, yeah. Then everyone after this only has two. So why is it why do we have Schwartz and Stinkin? Oh, did they get rid of him in this game? No, he's gonna be down here. Lion Gate's here, right? They got rid of him? Or no, do I have to unlock him? Lion Gate. Okay, whatever, we'll, we'll discuss it later. Do you have to unlock Lion Gate later? Because I know, also, Desteel isn't here. I know you can play as Desteel. He has to be unlocked, okay. Uh, I'll go with... Uh, Red Zozo, Red and Green. Christmas Zozo. Yeah, it's crazy that, like, Schwartz and, and Lion Gate are two separate characters, but you can't even play as Queen Destiny. She's, like, the only character in the game that you can't play as, which is really annoying. Like, she has the cool, like, one of the cooler designs in the game. It's the epic fight versus Milk and Coco. I really hope that there's like an elephant, like a mammoth skeleton Pokemon showed off in Sword and Shield, and like we could have an Alchemia uh, mammoth duo, which would be really cool. So I was thinking about because like after we saw Alchemy, I can't stop thinking about Alchemia because it looks just like her. And like maybe I can assemble a Code of Princess team in Sword and Shield. If only there was a character, a Pokemon Sword and Shield that had a really big sword. Wait a minute! It's Destiny. Oh jeez. Zozo is really not good to be using first on in this game because all of her attacks are magic based and to have her thing empty out so early on is not great. Oh boy. And that's all she wrote. One day I'll unlock the you win voice clip. Okay, well that was fun. Thanks for showing that off with me, and I'm sorry we didn't get the actual multiplayer stuff that I wanted to show off, shown off in this episode, but we will get it done at some point, so don't worry. But for now, I'm gonna see how quickly I could get through the single player bonus quests. They're uh, the same if you're playing single or multiplayer, supposedly, but 
There are also internet ones that I'd like to have uh, you as a COCOM in, or uh, we'll see some think sometime in the future if we could do that. But for now, we are going to not campaign. We're just going to go through bonus quests. I'll come later. Thank you for playing. Uh, let's see. Uh, flee the capital. Just gonna go. Uh, I think... I'm not really gonna... Try super hard to use every single character in this thing. I think I'm just gonna be sticking with Allegro throughout the majority of them because... I kinda just wanna get it done as quickly as possible. Uh, does this look like a good... A series of stuff. Did I donate to Marco Neko in this? No, I did not. I'm gonna save that for like a final bonus thingy. Remind me again what Marco Neko does. I, like, I've asked people this so many times, but I can never remember. I thought it did nothing, and like, um, I thought eventually it was how you unlocked him, because like, when I maxed out all the donations, uh, initially in the 3DS playthrough, that was like around the same time that I unlocked him as a playable character. But that is not actually how you unlock him. Uh, donating to Marco Neko, it, I think it's it makes it so you get more stat boost through level ups when you reset the character's levels back to level one, which is really dumb. But uh, whatever, I guess. Hi, Nick Jay, welcome to the stream. Every time you donate to Neko, you get an extra star for bonus stats when you reset. Yeah, that's crummy. What's an extra star? Or did you, like, typo stat? Uh, we got some gloves. I don't know if we actually needed those. I did get one achievement. Um, you meant, you meant star. Uh, oh wait, no, you didn't mean star. I thought you typoed stat twice. But no, um, so what's a star? When leveling up, I don't even know what that refers to. You're semi like in all Final Fantasy X uh, 14 is uh, wrecking your feels. Oh no. Hello! These troll patrols. It's gonna be wrecking house with Allegro for a good long while. Hopefully with him, with him and everyone else at level 99, and this will be fairly simple and easy to pull off. Going to 12 more. And tag me in a screenshot on Twitter. Okay. BRB cutscene. If you have any uh, equipment recommendation as well, feel free to let me know, because... I remember there were a lot of bonus quests, not a lot, but like, there was one where like, the one where you fight the gargoyles, uh, for like, a million hours, and I could not for the life of me beat them, but as soon as I switched equipment, it was suddenly easy. So, hopefully we won't, or maybe I could just figure it out on my own if I could actually navigate and menu properly for once, because usually I'm just like, if there's a down arrow, I shouldn't equip it, because down is bad, up is good. Oh, we should use the... Well, I don't like Allegro's alternate costumes, but if we use Zozo, then I'll use her cool costumes. And defeat all the enemies. Sword getting back in the groove of things. So do I look like a competent player when... It's not up against one of the greatest Code of Princess players of all time. Do I have some skills? <laughs> Maybe, possibly. Go over here. I do good, thanks! <laughs> I remember using the drop kick on the gargoyles like for a bajillion years. That was a cool combo. 
So yeah, other than Coda Princess, what have you all been doing lately? Um, I have not much to share. Blue Rescue Team is hopefully, 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 hopefully going to resume tomorrow. Thank you so much for everyone who is patient, but finally going to get that underway. I'm like, on one hand, I'm really happy about that, but on the other, I'm like, oh god, that means... Uh, the next Let's Play is going to be starting soon, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. Because that one has even more voice actors than Blue Rescue Team. Because I don't know how to stop annoying the heck out of all my friends. And it's going to be a trip. Uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Hello. Like, I didn't even recognize this this background from the original game, it might have been like an early village area, but I don't remember. That cave area definitely wasn't part of the main game. Like this one as well? I don't think it was. And like that, we, we fought in a coliseum or something as well in online. That did not a coliseum, but just like a courtyard or something that didn't look familiar. So there's maps and stuff that like are exclusive to the bonus quest, which is really cool. Do you have an idea as to how long uh, the bonus quest will probably take? A lot of backgrounds were touched up in the release. Real? Defeat all enemies. A lot of these are just defeat all enemies. Also, now that this is live, you can see how long those stinking, um, loading screens are that I cut out in editing. And he just runs away. Okay, thank you. Go over here. Uh, let's just go for the boss. And another treasure chest. I assume the treasure chests are all new items. It's not just random. Maybe about an hour and a half for all bonus quests. Quests start getting insane around the end. Yeah, I remember that. I'm hoping with the easier level up system, like with the stats not being up to me anymore, that it's going to be a bit easier this time around. Have you done the bonus quest for EX? Or is it just for the 3DS that you've done it? Because I remember being on it forever in 3DS. No, always new Einstein has the chest have gold, okay. Well, that's it? The slime was the main enemy? Okay. It's in all of them except for a few online ones. And he's out of here. Okay. I think I also edited out the freezing. <laughs> Whenever that happened. The things I do to make this game shine. It's so weird, like, I was not expecting this LP to be only 10 episodes because so much thing and work went into it with recording 3S and uh, Switch stuff. So it felt a lot longer than just 10 episodes. And just also when playing through it, it feels like a long game because I never progress through the chapters unless I beat each and every chapter with all of the main characters first because I want to be able to switch to whoever I want um, when playing the chapter for the first time because I don't like uh, sticking with a character that I think is plot relevant, not just staying with one like I'm doing right now. So it, the game feels four times as long than it really is when playing through it. Uh, be kind. Oh, 
What the heck is going on here? Oh, we gotta protect this villager. I was like, well, why am I not able to hurt this knight? But it was an old man. I just couldn't see him because he was poisoned. I give old man attack up. You wanna attack old man? Where are you going? I don't have to protect him for 10 minutes, do I? Also, the old man's dead. Welcome back, Nightshade. I'll try again. Do I have to protect him for 10 minutes? Only until all the enemies are gone, okay. That's less insane. I feel like I'm cheating with Allegro, honestly. We should use the other old men. All the old men have to stick together. Oh, he did a little attack this time. Okay, he could attack. Uh, if I go off without him, am I gonna be fine? Is there another old man over here? Oh man, why are you coming into the line of fire? No, he'll end up getting himself killed again. Wait, if I go off screen, he'll end up getting himself killed? Or are you talking about like... How he's coming to the line of fire. I guess we'll see. I'll keep you with me, old man. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Both? Oh, jeez. It's like Smash Bros. If he's off screen for too long, he just destroys himself. the end of the screen so they better be done after this and we're good you did it old man you're gonna get a buttload of experience forest trolls I wish I had the patience to like level up all of the characters to level 99 but like does anyone have old woman at level anything that isn't one You got a shower now that you unlocked a dungeon? BRB again. Why don't you just bring the computer with you into the shower, Nightshade? Jeez. Multitask. Defeat all enemies! Ooh, I like the sunset. This looks super nice. Like your computer survived the shower. Just put it in like a plastic baggie or something. You got old woman to level 99 in 3D and girl, are you kidding me? Can you send me a screenshot of that? Because that is legendary. How do you do it? Did she beat to steel? Can you do it? Is it possible? We're gonna get real sick and sick of hearing that after the stream.
There we go. She could beat to steel, it just takes a lot of flare bur bursts. Oh my god. Well, yeah, that's a. Well, no, now that you mention it, because I could see that. Because in the 3DS version, the bursts are different. You could turn it on and off. And with the sunburst uh, equip thingy, the Solange gem uh, pendant. Yeah, it doesn't work in EX because you have limited bursts in this game. Okay. Yeah, so in EX it would be like impossible to get old woman up to level anything. That's so stinking weird. I wish this game was pop popular enough for uh, Nicholas or whoever to fix the problems in it. Like, fix some loading things, give us the dub. Make old woman top tier. So what do you think about my theory of Helen from uh, Blade Strangers being a main character in an uh, unreleased or unannounced Code of Princess sequel? Cause like, that would be insane if that was actually true. It's so weird that they just made a character. Um, like, I guess Lena is another one, but like, she's the villain so it's not as weird. Like, she has relevance to the plot. But with Helen, just like another fighter. She's not a main one or anything like that. And she just she also like fits the aesthetic of Code of Princess, so I feel like it might be true. That would be amazing. Oh jeez, lots of lightning. And the thunder and the lightning. go she is supposed to get in your own game but you don't know for sure it's just like a rumor and there you go uh, cemetery terror You have to look through Blade Stranger Discord. What? Speaking of Blade Strangers, when are we getting that stinging DLC? Um, hello. Are you in the same thing? Yeah, you are. Okay, thank you. Also, it's weird seeing the cemetery at daytime. Shouldn't you guys be melting because of the sunlight or something? Also because I have the sun burst. Uh, did you get um, Umihara Kawase Fresh, by the way? I ordered the super fancy one on Nicholas's website, but it hasn't arrived yet. Supposedly people are getting it now, though. Even though I'm sort of mad at Kawase because of her stealing the spotlight from Solange in the Crystal Crisis opening. Also, I noticed when editing that Crystal Crisis video in the credits when uh, Aban's singing at the bar, um, and like Solange is watching, you can see in the background there's a TV which is playing the Crystal Crisis opening, and you can see Solange in the opening on the TV back there, but she's not in, in the actual opening. Oh, uh, you have not? Yeah, you want to get the digital copy? Okay. Um, has anyone? Because I, I actually left the Crystal Crisis Discord. I was just cleaning up a lot of Discord servers um, that I don't really use. But um, has it been confirmed yet if Solange appears in the Japanese opening for Crystal Crisis, and like just the American version has Kawase instead? Cause like, why is it just her? Why didn't they just add Kawase into it? No, no, why'd you have to get rid of Solange? Why would you do that to me? Soda, soda. And they're all gone.
that you don't know you haven't joined that Discord yet. I like went into it and then I went out. I was like, these guys aren't as cool as the Blade Strangers people. No, I don't know. I just didn't have much to talk about. I'm loving it. I don't have much to talk about in like any Discord server I'm in because I'm hardly ever speak. Uh, we're making our way. Okay, lumbering hulks. Still just defeat all enemies. Jeez, got trees. Got evil trees! Like when they do their little come here thing. Like, come here. When trees attack. Head over here. There we go. Uh, did you see Stranger Things Season 3? Of course I saw the one sitting I'm crazy. I bought like a buttload of Egos. Come on, come on. I want to talk about it, but like, I can't because spoilers. I guess all I'll say is that Sailor Steve is the best character. And also the best outfit. I changed my Netflix icon to Sailor Steve. <laughs> You're gonna start tomorrow? Okay, hope you have fun. It's super duper good. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh, look at that pro strike dodge. Oh boy. Hello. Also, another. Excuse me. Can I, like, not change lanes? Uh, what I was thinking, Rex, is do you stream at all? Because, like, maybe I could. Well, I guess that one. No, I know. It might fix the talking issue because if I'm not, like, doing all the recording setup and then, like, you're recording streaming on your end, then, like, I could just have the mic and headphone thing and all that jazz. It would basically just be like less cords for me to finagle with, which might give you less restrictions. I don't know if that's even making any sense, but it might work. Maybe. You've never streamed before. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. And quest clear. Oh, my eyes are already going. Oh no. Can't be that sleepy already. Oh no. Uh, besieged. Burder, burder. You gonna see the Lion King movie? Like, I know it's against better judgment, but like. I still just want to see it, because I like the music, and I don't know, I like Disney, it'd just be a nice way to spend a day, I guess, I don't know, it's not too much of a bother to go see it, in my opinion, even though it doesn't look really good. Okay.
I just found out Nutcrackers on Netflix. That was something I wanted to see during Christmas time. I just didn't get the chance to, so I was hopefully going to see that this weekend. Oh, I thought the rocks were like radishes, my god. I really need sleep. Really excited for Lion King? Okay. I like I really got stop saying okay. Like I noticed like every single time I read something in chat, my I my immediate response is just okay. Singing nest, so, like okay, okay. <laughs> Who's an adorable little pet radish? Oh, there we go. Up next is supper time. Save the lost child before the monsters get to her. Okay, we got another. Uh, that's okay. Ten hours. Oh, is that the video of him saying okay for ten hours? Uh oh. Oh, uh, we'll go confirm. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, was I talking about supper time? I don't know. I don't remember anything. So now we have a girl. Why is the girl just a girl, but the uh, boy is an orphan? Oh, she's trying to attack, it's cool. Uh, treasure chest, thank you. We good? No, we're not good. Maybe the girl has a family to go back to. I know, like, this is the... Maybe it's the girl from the opening cutscene where she's like, Does that mean we're safe now? Like, I know that there's also a girl used in the orphanage. Maybe it's a different one, I guess. I'm not sure if it helps or hurts that, like, she follows us everywhere. God, imagine if, like, the villagers could get hurt by your attacks. This would be impossible. Oh, she did a scream attack. That was nice. She's got the pro strats. I think the original title for the stream was gonna be like now with the Toad's professional pro strats, but since we couldn't get the CoCom thing to work, there are no pro strats to be found here because it's just me. Uh oh. Oh wait, 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 wait! Come on, do that. Okay. Her magic hurts everyone. That's cool. I had to pause for a second, I was like, I was about to say okay again. That was a lot of damage, uh oh. I'm more than okay with just hanging out in the corner. What is Petey a gap, dude? There we go. Oh jeez, thank you. I should have just at least used Zozo for the uh, earlier quests and then Allegro for the newer ones. We could switch to Zozo after this. I'm at least somewhat confident with her. Uh, don't get hit by that. No, oh, of course you went into it. Uh, last time. Sound like she said, "Please die." There we go. What do you like better, the red and green Zozo or the purple and yellow Zozo?
You like them all? Oh no, I'm trying to... I was gonna let you choose. You like them all? We could alternate. Let's do that. Oi. Okay. Oh, as soon as I choose red and green, you say purple and yellow is your favorite. God darn it. Oi. Get the boss. Okay. I assume this is the boss. There you go. And that was a very easy quest clear. You live once again, just like Zozo. Carnage 1? Or was it Carnage I? There we go. Purple, yellow. Well, so that was a super quick shower, but then again, like, I take hour and a half long showers, so... Anything that isn't an hour and a half is, is short to me. Probably not good for you, but, uh, whoopsie doopsie. It's okay, I've only, like, passed out in the shower four times in my life. <laughs> uh, let's ignore that, I guess. Go do that. The background looks so pretty. Oh, hello. Still going to the left. Remember these guys being into lightning. There's not. Okay, yeah, there's not the zones on, on the bridge. You got one. I really miss her English voice because she's like, that? Quit it! That, he's a curse. Oh my god. Hey now. I also want to make a bonus video where I just like go over all the voice actors for this game. I found out that some of the. In the Japanese version, she's voiced by Pikachu. I don't even think I knew that when I was doing the LP. But that's just like a little sneak preview as to like who like partakes in this game. That's insane. Uh, Carnage. Okay, yeah, it was supposed to be one and two. Defeat 40 within the time limit. Okay. Solange and Alley, you're not getting any love in these bonus quests. Hello. I guess the Lake also has. Uh, the lightning attack, so he would also be good for this area. Sister Helga's Sailor Venus from Sailor Moon Crystal, it's amazing. Uh, English or Japanese? It's also a show I need to continue watching. I stopped, like, during Season 2. I was not enjoying it, honestly. Like, I've never seen the original Sailor Moon, so... What the fuck are you doing? I've never seen the original Sailor Moon, so like, I thought this would just be like a good introduction to it, but like, apparently not a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, the animation was not the greatest. Um, I could agree with that. It just looked a bit weird, like it was slow in a lot of parts, but... I don't know, I just gotta like... I really just want to finish it. Japanese... Japanese Lego's Lucina?! Are you kidding me?! What?! Oh my god, I'm so excited for this video now! I knew ja uh, English Allegro was Teddy and Phoenix Wright, but not singing Lucina in the Japanese version, that's insane. That's hilarious, oh my god. Crystal got better in the third season. We're getting movies next year. Oh, jeez, I'm supposed to catch up on it. I was doing good with uh, finally watching stuff. I know I've been saying like for a year or whatever, but I've been watching Sound Euphonium. And I'm in season two at long last after being 
like on hiatus with it for like two, three years. And uh, there's like supposedly a third season coming out soon, so I gotta hurry up and finish that. Oy, I'm so close though. It's just like I gotta force myself to watch an episode a day. If I did that, then my backlog list will be gone in a year. Oy, okay, gone. Okay, fine by me. What do we got now? Beware of bombs. Defeat 12 uh, villagers are under attack. Defeat 12 villagers within the time limit? <laughs> Well, if I'm protecting the villagers, I should go with Allegro, I feel like. Also, only 12 of them. They must be strong. Oh, these weirdos. I like guess they just plop from the skies, like... Also, there are no villagers here. The whole sentence was just wrong. It was just like... The villagers are under attack. Defeat 12 within the time limit. 12 villagers, supposedly? But then there's also just no villagers here. That'd be 12 enemies within the time limit. Oh, it's a short time limit, so I should get moving. Lucina, I can't hear it now. I know it doesn't sound like her, but like I just can't stop thinking about it. Uh, mountain trolls. A clan of these fuzzballs has migrated towards the mountains. Let's go back to Zozo, because she's not nearly as annoying, uh, voice-wise, in the Japanese version anyway. I know I could also just mute the character audio at this point, but nah. Oh, we got new ones. We don't see these guys in the main game, right? The white ones? Go. Speaking of Earthbound or the mother things, like when you had the OK video, I don't know why I just thought of this just now, but. We talk about how crazy it was that just out of nowhere someone revealed that like, oh yeah, there was going to be an Earthbound game on GameCube and it was going to use like felt graphics, like we just didn't do it. I thought you just like would want to know that now, I never felt like mentioning it before. Like, what the fuck is up with that? That was insane. Now we're all going to be sad that we don't have that. Like, you think with like how like Adam and all the mother friends have been about like learning all there is to know about the franchise that someone would have mentioned it before this, but no, it was only just now that they brought it up. It's crazy. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. And there we go. Should really have some more things to talk about in this stream, but I can't think of anything. Oh wait, what? That's not the end, is it? No. Uh, do you know how we unlock this one? Do I just have to beat this one first? Uh, forest around, no humans around this forest has grown wild and untamed. Uh, 
Uh, supposedly there's a Super Monkey Ball game coming soon, and that's exciting. Because I love that franchise. Also, I just like Super Monkey Ball 2. But whatever. Review credits with all characters in campaign mode. I did... I think... I know I beat the steel with every character, but like, do I have to choose the credits chapter, which is literally just the credits with every character beforehand? We could do that. Do I have to actually watch it, or could I just skip the credits? <laughs> Find out after this, I guess. Okay, I have to actually choose the credits. It's kind of silly. I vivid, I vaguely remember doing that though. I don't know, whatever. And I could skip them. Okay. And I know I could speed up cutscenes as well, so that's nice. What did you choose on your first playthrough? Did you destroy the stone or did you leave it? I actually destroyed it on my first playthrough, and I was so stinking scared. I was like, oh no, so so, I didn't mean it. I felt so stinking worried. Just destroyed as well, felt right. Yeah, it seems like a more proper ending. You always gotta sacrifice something in the end. It's, it's like such a weird thing to just be like, eh, okay, we'll let our ancient ancestors deal with this jank. Who knows what they're going to be doing in the future, but we'll just let them deal with it. It's not our problem anymore. There we go. Yeah, that guy like the purple and yellow one the most. Oh, but the red and green one is also really cool. We just have, like... Can Zozo make, like, a necromancer army now that she has her body back in Code of Princess 2? Just have all the different color palettes for Zozo. Super dope. Have her little zombie army. The mandrakes sound super cute. Yeah, they do. This guy's being a jerk. Let's get rid of him. So, like, I'm trying to think of what Pokemon I want to use for Sword and Shield. And, like, I pretty much said I'm using Grookey. But none of the other ones really speak to me all that much. The only one that, like, mildly interests me is Alcremie. But that's because of Alchemia. But I'm gonna try not to use fairy types this time around because my team in Sun and Moon had four fairy types on it, so I'd rather use someone else. Like the fact that I guess we know for a fact now that uh, Alcremie isn't gonna have any evolutions because it has that stupid Gigantamax form. Ugh. So, like, that's what I get as the Pokemon. And I'd rather not because I'm sick of Pokemon with forms and whatnot. I don't know who I'm gonna be using. Well, you hear Zozo and Chopper Grunts. Oh, I'm out of burst. Uh oh. I might actually lose this one. No. Mushroom. Yeah, I understand being on the fence as, on the game as a whole. Uh, let's check the thingy. Campaign. I guess this is our commercial break. Uh, Chris, this doesn't even tell you who I've done it with. I'm gonna assume I did it with Solange already, so I'm just gonna go to Alley. I'm 
And that's it. Take a drink every time we hear that. Zozo. Oh God! Oh jeez! Oh God! Ow! Oh man! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I don't know if you heard that, but I was like cracking my neck, and oh God, that pop! Jeez! Oh wow! Whoa! Ho, ho. Yeesh! That was something! Oh my God! That was, that was something! Oh my God! Oh my god. I don't know if it felt good or if it was terrifying. Like, I'm always afraid of my head falling off whenever I crack my neck, but I do it anyway every five seconds. Oh god, that was... That was sort of terrifying. Maybe have been the thousand years quest. Let's check. Oh no! Oh no! You thought it might have been the thousand years one? Did you say that and I didn't listen? Oh god, was I not listening? No, you said you're talking about credits. But yeah, I guess that would make sense. Would I get a notification? I don't think he got notifications for the bonus quests, but like, I might have. You said credits, okay. I guess we'll see, though. Mark an echo. And we're good. I beat Go to Princess in a world record pace of single player bonus quests. No! We have to sit through that? Ay. Three of them locked. I have a feeling it's just Ali, Zozo, and Allegro. Let's do it with just them and then we'll check. I assume I did it with Solange the first time. We'll go with Ali then. All this thing. I like how stinking speedy it is. Oh, that's it already? Jeez. Oh, wait, which one's the shorter one? Uh, not destroying the, sh the stone is the shorter cutscene, so I'll remember that next time. It's kind of seizure inducing <laughs> when you speed up like that. Hello! Knocked over my water bottle. Zoom! Oh my god, the audio! <laughs> thousand years. Only like a thousand years to load, her <laughs> her.
No, not the credits. Get back out here. A thousand years. And... Allegro. Unlock a new character, the Guardian! More like a new hero, the Guardian. Get it? Cause Guardian heroes, her, her, her. So, did these guys actually make Guardian Heroes, or does everyone just compare this game to Guardian Heroes? Cause like, you know, this thing in back of the box art, it talks about Guardian Heroes, and I'm like, why do people always say that? I'm like the only person on the planet that doesn't compare this game to Guardian Heroes, cause I haven't played that game. Unlock the Guardian. That's... That's the... That's... Uh, Lion Gate's code, right? I believe. The code monster. Uh, hello. Where am I? There we are. Uh, yep, they're all unlocked now. Cool beans. Thank you for telling me what to do. What the fruit is going on here? Run at night. Game was heavily inspired by Guardian Heroes. They did work on Guardian Heroes. Okay, so it's not completely out of nowhere that everyone just talked about Guardian he Guardian Heroes. Are the characters nearly as cool in that game as they are in this one? Oh, right, let's look, look at the Guardian that we got. Just want to make sure not go. Ay! Building screen. Yeah, the Guardian is. Oh, it looks different. Oh, wait, no, it's this alternate color. Okay, that looks fabulous! You have not played Garden Heroes. It's not been released on anything besides the Saturn, right? Oh, Genesis, my bad. I have a Saturn, but just for Nights into Dreams. Oh, it is Saturn. So I can conceivably play it. I could get more than one game for my Saturn. Or I could just get another copy of Nights in the Dreams that comes with the special controller box. And the special controller. And over here. It's on Xbox 360. Cool. On live arcade, I assume. Do not have one of those, unfortunately. I have Xbox 360 games, but I don't have a 360. I have Idol Master 1, 2, and Live for You. 360. But I don't actually want to get one myself because Xbox is Xbox is trash. <laughs> I don't hear Chopper and her moaning noises. Like I know that that's who's voicing her, but I still can't. I can't hear the Chopper. Could you say how sick and happy I am that we're finally out of Stinking Whole Cake Island? Well, I always say that when I'm like we're out of any area in One Piece at this point because it's so stinking long until we can get out of them. And like the art sound, the music, I love it for uh for Wano, it's amazing. 
I'm also just excited for them to be back together again. <laughs> Except for someone, but can't say who in case it's a spoiler for anyone who's caught up. This fight's kind of annoying. It's not ending in 10 seconds like the other ones are. Oh, you guys are jerks! I wish I could have physically enjoyed all the food tasty things in that arc, because it all looked amazing. I want to eat it. Yeah, um, as a whole, Whole Cake Island was really good, and I thought it was cool. Just that, just like everything else in One Piece, it went on for way too stinking long. <laughs> uh, that's par for, the, par for the course at this point. Stinking, I don't know who he was exactly, like, I think he was like a, uh, a, a shonen executive or whatever when One Piece's 20th anniversary popped up. He was like, I uh, expect One Piece to be around for like 30 more years. I'm like, oh jeez. <laughs> Try to recreate the background items in Whole Cake Island or in Code of Princess. <laughs> Whole Cake Island, my bad, okay. Good. Good boss. Let's see if I can get rid of you. There we go. Not the boss, okay. Oh, a lot of stinging enemies here, my god. I'm actually somewhat worried about running out of time this this one. Oh, that was my last burst, oh jeez. Oh jeez, what was that? I just did like a slam dunk. Oh, this might be bad. You think this is the exact quest where things get crazy? Uh-oh. So back to Allegro after this. <laughs> Okay. All the way over here. Got 
Got through the worst of it. Out of the thick stuff. Get that reference, you're amazing. Majide. Oh jeez, get out of the way, Zozo. Come on. Come on, dude. Get down here. And stop kicking me in the butt, thank you. That was coming. And there you go. Whee! Very cool. Uh, won't let you go. Defeat 40 to escape. Oh boy. They want to capture Ali. Oh no. So should I play as Ali? Now I'd lose terribly. So does it mean Ali's actually gonna be helping us in battle? No, because that would make too much sense. Oh, is Japongi gonna be here? I knew Japongi's voice by Zoro in the Japanese version. Is he in a different zone? Jeez. That's a defeat for you to escape. What? Wait a minute. I just comprehended that. I was like, oh god, that's a lot of enemies. Oh no. Ooh, you got any special topics that we can talk about, Rex? Any QA sessions? I thought, do you prefer a username or a real name when referring to you? I think it's important to ask. Are you indifferent? Uh Okay. Eh. Rex is easier. Okie dokes. There's four lo loans lanes here. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez, fancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. We got conversation topics. If you have them, let me know. Or discussion topics. Or any other sort of topic. Let's get topical. They just keep falling from the sky. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh jeez. Have I unlocked you probably yet? Looking back on it, I don't think I did? I know that there's two Japongis in the sinking extra mode. Uh, one with the mask and one without the mask. <laughs> Do you unlock him through this quest? I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, there's so many stinking enemies.
Are we good? Quest clear, cool. Second one's unlocked when you defeat all quests, fortunately, he's, per he's pretty different. He has different attacks? Well, that didn't get us the first one. Oh, well, maybe it's this one, Return of the Ninja. Jupongi's back, and this time he has a trick up his sleeve. Uh-oh. Why do I feel like we fight multiple Jupongis in this one? I'm getting, like, nom flashbacks. So oh, god. Uh... Okay, so far so good. I don't want to get too close to the right, because he might be there waiting for me. He has different attacks in the second form. Is the second form the without mass? I'll save all my bursts for Jukumi. These ninjas or bandits or whatever they're called, they have a lot of HP. Get me up here. Come get Yeah, Alchemia's gotten through here. I think she was the last character I unlocked. I might have done the quest out of order in the 3DS version originally. Good. Let's get some HP real quick. Oh, wait, some metal enemies to use. Heavy metal! I think I can move the little stick for it. That's weird. It's against the rules, good sir. I like goes down a boost attack, so that may be useful here. I just gotta remember to keep on using it. I definitely know about it because I use like no one but Allegro, but I gotta make sure I actually remember to use it frequently. Also, lock on. Lock on does more damage to him, right? You no, know, like also locks on. But um, I think it does more damage. Like, there's no real way to track that because you can't see it otherwise. Pretty sure it does. Okay. Jeez. Jerk. Annoying. Oh, damn. so close to use my burst on you. Let me lock on, you jerk! What's with this ninja? What is with this single ninja? Can we talk about this for a second? Let me lock onto your stupid face. There, my god. Okay, we're good. Where are you, Japonki? 
Oh! Oh no! We're not even there yet! Okay, let's go! Oh my god. This is insane. Oh, the Legro's attack boost is just boost physical attack or is it everything? Attack, uh, physical and special. Yeah, this looks familiar! Hello! Uh, they're not as strong as I remember them being. Is there like one real one amongst these? Shouldn't just keep on asking multiple questions as I'm just gonna look at the chat after this and it's just gonna say yes and no a bunch of times and you're like, so what? I don't remember. God. Oh, you're a jerk! Oh, you're a jerk! I can't even make it to the ground! Jesus! Okay, yeah, so there's one real one. Just don't know which one it is. Maybe it's the one with the health bar. G. Oh, okay, good. Okay, we're not the real one. Okay, and we're good. Thank you. Oh, my God, show's over, folks. For how long some of these get, it only boosts physical attacks. Okay, good to know. Doubles the attack stat more specifically, can't go over 160 though. Huh. We locked your pongi, yay! Uh. So I guess I should check how much. He's at 81 attack, okay. Yeah, it, like maxes out his attack stat though, jeez. Uh, Japongi makes a lot of squid puns. I guess that explains the Kraken school thing in his description. Uh, did he make them in the English version? I don't think he does. A ninja study on it the Kraken school of martial arts and acting. And his alternates. That was pretty cool. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh god! Oh no! Also, Ensemble Ensemble. My stinking laptop has not been plugged.